Hey guys, it's Eric here from SSW TV. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the top three features of C Sharp 7. My top feature is the improvements to tuples. Now, when you worked with tuples before, you had to reference all the items in the tuples by like item one, item two, item three. And once you're out of that function, it wasn't very meaningful. With C Sharp 7, they've done an awesome job in making your code really readable by letting you name those items. So you can say item one is the customer name, item two is the order total, and item three is like is a VIP customer. So when you refer to it with code, it's really, really clear what, what each of those items are. My second favorite feature is inline output variables. Now, in the past, when you needed to use something like a try parse function, you needed to declare i before, then you needed to do a try parse and pass in the i as an output variable. With C Sharp 7, it simplifies this by just basically reducing it all to one line. So you can just say try parse, whatever your string is, and then you just say out int i, and you can just use it there, and it only exists within the scope of that try parse. It makes your code really concise and easy to read. My third favorite feature is pattern matching. Now, as a developer, when you're working with classes, derived classes, and the, them being passed as a variable to a function, sometimes you need to check whether it, it's of the derived class or if there's multiple derived classes, which one it is. So to do that, you basically needed to say, is this, uh, if this variable is derived class A or if this variable is derived class B, then you needed to cast it and have a local variable to access its properties. So it made your code a bit verbose. Now C Sharp 7, you can actually do all this stuff inside a switch statement. So you can just say switch, whatever my variable is, case, derived class is A, and then you can start accessing the properties. It actually makes your code really, really nice and easy to read. It gets rid of all those if statements, it gets rid of all the local variables that you need to declare, and just puts it in those case statements. So if you guys enjoyed those three tips, make sure you hit like or subscribe. Now, if you're a poor VB developer who's jealous of all these new and fancy C-sharp features, hit dislike. Catch you guys next time.